Got to do some work on this um, 800 special. I need to do. Uh, one thing I need to do is change the oil. Yeah. And I need to put a new fill line in it. It's got that quarter inch uh, hose. So I'm going to do that and get back to uh, working on this. I know she isn't pretty. I had so much, so many plans to uh, paint it and everything. But no, I mean, I have other wheel horses that maybe I might do that too. It's like this, this 800 special is like exactly what it should be. I might get some rust off of it and coat it with WD-40. But um, yeah, and uh, well. little house I have other plans for today I plan on uh, bringing my plow out here over if I can get it on my trailer and then I plan on getting my tool bench in here and believe it or not I actually uh, and I cleaned this whole thing up a couple weeks ago when it was like 70 outside and uh, this is all the junk I got to store in here so I've been doing a lot of um, hooks up in up in to put some stuff on here oh another project uh, I'll get to that later and uh, yeah, put a lot of shelving and stuff and I think I put my tool bench right there in the corner and I'll build one out of all that three-quarter plywood I found the other other day and build one right here sort of like an L shape and I need to do all of that oh yeah I came up here looking for some 10w30 I had left over see what this is 5w30 I don't want to buy two quarts of oil if I only use like one and a quarter and I always have this extra 10w30 laying around and I always put it somewhere and then when I need to put it in a lawnmower or something I'm always oh yeah I have some but then I can't find it uh, looks like I'm gonna have to buy a couple quarts especially that that um, Briggs engine leaks and that's one of the the reasons I want to, I was planning on uh, putting it on the bench and see if I could do some repair work to it, but it's running too good. I mean, I have a backup engine for it, but that thing is running running too good to uh, to mess with it again. Sometimes I feel like if it's running good, don't even mess with it. Anyway, here I am. Going to advanced auto, I gotta get some fuel. It's so great having this uh, an auto parts store right across the alley from me. Pretty cool. I mean, I used to have to you know, drive across town to do that. Well, what are these guys doing? Wow, they're grading the alley. That's nice. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of spots where uh, water stands and stuff. Well, looks like I'm in two quarts of oil. Got another uh, happy camper video coming up too. And I'm here, I'm back. Three ninety nine for. Valvoline oil is the cheapest they have right now. I thought since gas went down so cheap the oil would drop, but it really hasn't. Uh, I hope I got enough fuel line. I think I'm just about enough. I made sure that I had fuel line and not some kind of vacuum line.
Well, I'm going to install this. Um, it's not much of a video to do so. So I'll just, just uh, install it and uh, check it out later. Uh, one thing I want to make tell you guys about though, when I bought this tractor, it had a little tiny leak uh, around the, in, the inner inlet here. And I used JB Well for repairing that tank and it has held up really well. Uh, as long as you prepare something like that, you know, sand it and get all the dirt off of it, it seems like it works pretty good. Anyway, I'm here talking too much. I need to get working on this. Try to get out to pick the tractor up, change the oil. Let me pick up the plow, change the oil, and yeah, a lot more. Okay, to do. change the oil, put a new fuel line on it. I could see I am getting a leak from somewhere. Yeah, it's that top. That top clamp. I hope the tank isn't leaking. As I said, like I did. I did use KV Weld on it. Okay, what do you guys, uh, I'm going to put this question up to you. Um, originally when I got this thing, I was going to paint it. And uh, now I don't know for sure. So what's your opinion? Should I paint this uh, tractor or leave it as is? Uh, it's, uh, it might have been painted once. I'm not too sure. Parts of it has probably been touched up. So, uh. Yeah, just give me your opinion. Okay, I went and picked right. up the plow and some other stuff, tool bench and that. And it's a little bit rusty, I'm gonna do some cleaning. And one thing that I noticed, um, I'm missing that bar. And in the back, I know I took it off. Uh, a couple years ago to, to um, get a little bit bigger one. This is this plow fits a lot of different models, and uh, the difference is, is I, I need a little bit bigger bar in the back. That there's a couple of uh, hold down clamps I forgot we call them that uh, that slide in there and they have pins. Uh, and uh, to hold them for side to side movement, I'm probably going to have to go back and look where I had it stored. Maybe I have that bar there. I do need a little bit bigger one anyway. Eh, anyway, I brought my little horse. It does a pretty good job. I found my pot. I thought I'd bring a plastic shelf pack with me too and have my tool bench and stuff. So I gotta unload this and you know, 
want to get it on. I'll probably have it on before it snows again, I hope. The weather's supposed to warm up uh, for the whole week, really. This has been a, a good uh, fall so far. Another couple of weeks before we have winter. It stays like this all winter. It'd be great. Anyway, up there at the top, see the little chimney. I want to heat this place. I'm thinking of using that wood burner uh, that I put in the shed that one year. Or uh, I have a pallet burner. So, I don't know. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? I'm videotaping. That's <laughs> like, I'm not talking to myself. I just assured my neighbor there and I'm not naughty. I'm just uh, videotaping. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that'll be it for now. I'll have some more coming uh, soon as it progresses. And until next time, thanks for watching. And please subscribe and comment.